and give you some new, new moon intentions as well. Okay. Bridge. How, yeah. How long, how long is, did you say Mars is in Leo for? Mars in Virgo. Virgo, sorry. Let me have a look. Mars is in Virgo until. Mm -mm -mm. Mars is in Virgo until the 28th of August. <laughs> Moves into, into Libra after that. So it's pretty quick. So, all right. So I will go for a quicker version of the week ahead. Like I said, if you want the more expanded version, there is a 25 minute one in the course modules. But we're going, I'm just going to go and have a look at this new moon, guys. All right. So tomorrow morning at 4.30 a.m., we've got the new moon in Cancer. Now, currently, all right, so it's, it's opposing Pluto. Now, we are planting seeds of intention around our home, family, ancestry, self-love, self-nurturing. All right. So, you know, um, are there any new self-care practices that you would like to grow upon? You guys know that I um, I had a bad back this week and all of the things came down to me not looking after myself. So on Thursday, I am starting a new course of self-care. It's just by chance finishing the same week as this course finishes. So from now on, because Venus is retrograde in my sixth house of health and illness, I am taking on a new health practice that I am planting the seeds of in this new cancer new moon. Okay, so where in your own life can you look at your self-care practices and maybe start something new, all right? Now, new moon to full moon is six months, so this is going to be December the the full moon in Cancer is in December, I believe. So, you know, is there something on a longer term scale that you would like to grow? Maybe you would like to uh, start new family traditions. You know, we've got that peer pressure from dead people. You, you, are, you have permission to start a new habit in your own home. All right, so if there is something that you have done for the longest time and it no longer serves you, then let it go, okay? Now, um, it's, what is it, Friday, I think the sun Pluto opposition is. Mm -mm -mm. No, sorry, it's Saturday at 1.30. We've got the sun Pluto opposition. So this is just growing all week, guys. It's already strong, okay? So now let's have a look. The new moon is going to be sextile Uranus, okay? It is a separating sextile, but it is giving us the energy that we can do new things and try new, um, maybe unexpected. I mean, I know what I'm starting is totally unexpected and out of my normal realm. And I'm like, hell yeah, I'm up for it. All right. It's new. Try something new. If you've done everything else and that does not make you sparkle, try something new. All right. We, it is going to be trine Neptune. Have some sort of spiritual principle around it. You know, um, when we're growing a new seed, try to envision the whole package, all right? It's it's not just, I want blah, 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 blah. It's, you know, mind, body, and spirit. So try to just, you know, when you're thinking about the new thing that you want to grow, how does it affect you as a whole? Like, it's not just a part of the package. It's look at the whole package, all right. Now, like I was saying, this opposition to Pluto, the, the shit, the trauma is coming up. The, um, you know, the sun is shining its light on the underworld. Um, you know, the skeletons in the closet, they rattle the loudest when they are ignored. Open the freaking closet. Have a look at the things that have caused you fear and, and demystify your old fears, all right? So I keep talking about, 
you know, that like um, the, the delusion and the illusion demystify is another thing. You know, are you acting from a place of, you know, your inner child's fears? As an adult, you get to change this, all right? We also have this separating square to Chiron, all right? Our old hurts are very obvious at the moment. This is another part of, of the cancer sun that everybody is like, really really struggling with because we had that square to Chiron our ancestry our history our family taboos they're all in our face right now and the square to the nodes you know we're not comfortable going forward but we're also not comfortable looking backwards either so now with Venus's position and her taking stock and, you know, all of the personal development we're doing and the growth that we want to do, all right? So this Neptune-Pluto sextile that we've got here, you know, this is a three-year long-term growth opportunity. And, you know, we don't have to do it all right now. We just have to take a step. We have to make a decision. We have to choose to do the right thing for ourselves. You know, nurture that inner child, you know, cancer is the children or the fifth house is the is children, but, you know, babies and, and like little, little babies are fourth house. So, well, yes and no. I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm saying fourth house because it's more of that, um, it's got a younger energy. You need your parents, all right? When you're a young baby, you need your parents, okay? So it's also, also that parent the parental axis the fourth and tenth you know um pluto is in the tenth and the sun is in the fourth um what do what part of what thing fucked you up from your parents that you need to let go of as a as a 49 year old or as a 36 year old or as a however old you are is there something that you have been scarred by that you could potentially make peace with because you want your future to be better than your past all right so there, there's you know there's some big opportunities around now it doesn't have to be done at 4 30 in the morning you know you've got you've got you know the most potent time is uh eight hours after that so you've got lunch time but then you know the new moon has to still sort of wake up and have a stretch and have a coffee and get moving before the energy actually starts to really get moving. So, you know, you do have time, but it's just releasing the old, making way for the new. Okay. So that is Monday. So that was a big one. All right. I am recording, aren't I? Uh, I hope I'm recording. Mm -mm -mm. please tell me I'm recording yep I am okay sorry guys <laughs> all right now let's have a look so that was Monday oh sorry that was Tuesday that was the new moon on Tuesday now um the moon goes into Leo on Tuesday afternoon yay a little bit of vibrancy in the air so we'll get some good feels for a couple of days. Um, I'm going to, I'm just going to skip through because there's nothing really massive for me to look at except for going into, okay, so Saturday, 1.30. Okay, Saturday at 1.30, we have that sun opposition Pluto. Okay. It's going to be pokey, guys, but that's okay because you're all grown ups and you're all doing amazing things in life, and everybody can. For how long? Okay. Okay. So I'm going to close that because that was a private message. All right. Um, so if you are feeling challenged, now I, I know when I was looking at this, I was, I got a little bit uncomfortable because the weekend. There's so many things going on that it could be definitely deemed uncomfortable. All right, let me change it to the weekend so we're looking at a little light day at least. Okay, so Saturday. All right. Mm -mm -mm, hours. Okay, so we've got, all right, so here we are. We've got this exact, 
All right, so we've got this grand square. That's that's the one that I was missing out on, the grand square. Okay. And how confronting does that look? That big, uh, all right. But is this, is this an opportunity for the old guard to pass on the baton to the new guys, all right? So rather than feeling like it is, you know, there is destruction for destruction's sake or you know you know maybe there's a ceo as an example there's a ceo that's been in business for 50 years and all he gets is his gold watch and he's a little bit pissed off but he wants the businesses to succeed so he's willing to hand over the reins to a to a pre a, a new uh new leadership all right, so it's totally how are you looking at this, all right? Now, Pluto is also exactly square the nodes at that time. Now, um, you want to be approaching situations with an open mind. Like I said, can you pass on the power to someone else? Um, now, the example uh, that I also was thinking of was... Um, no, that's more for Sunday. Actually, just hold off on that one. Sorry. All right. So, all right. We're also at the 29th degree of the sun in Cancer. You all know, or well, I'm telling you enough times, that the anoretic degree is that is that pokey one. All right. We've got all of the lessons of the sun in Cancer on one day. All right. So it's going to be an intense experience. Again, though, can it be the intense love that someone feels for their, their partner or their child? You know, um, I mean, I'm sure you all know that intense feeling of love. You know, when you first fall in love with someone and you feel sick, you know, um, that's not a nice feeling, but it's still the first stages of falling in love. So it's like this reverse the feels are going to be strong. I honestly feel think that the physical feelings are probably going to be strong as well. So if you do feel a little bit ill at this time, um, I just think with that much energy, there could be a physical manifestation of this as well. So, and again, Mars in Virgo, Moon in Virgo, we could be overanalyzing things to the to the to the biggest degree, thus causing that gut brain axis to just freak out. So um so just be wary on that Saturday. Okay. Uh, all right, moving forward to Sunday. Again, if you're watching the recording, there is a longer one available in the in the notes. Okay. So look at this. All right, Sunday, guys. Oh, my God. All right, first of all, Sunday, we have, um, okay, we have the um, sun opposition Pluto. That was the day before. All right, Venus goes retrograde at 11.32. All right, she stops and turns around, and that these are the points, like I keep saying, where the magnifying glass is, is on, and it is... The potential to cause flames are there. Any planet when it is stationary is amplified so much. There could be a lot of dissatisfaction, all right? Now, 18 minutes later, guys, the sun moves into Leo, okay? So, so Venus is in Leo and the sun is in Cancer and she is not happy. She is emotional. And 18 minutes later, she's like, right. All right, the, it goes from an internal place to an external place. She starts to express herself in a whole different manner. Again, with the volatility of this day. All right. I hope it's going to be amazing this weekend because I'm really trying to really trying to make it good because I've got Daniel and Emily coming. So <laughs> I hope it's not going to be as volatile as I think. Anyway, so we've got Venus moving and then the sun going into Leo. And then um, at, th at nearly four o'clock, 3.54, we have the moon moving into Libra. So if you have dissatisfying partnerships, this could be the time where you start taking it out on people or 
Sun, Pluto opposition, you start addressing that partner with the truth, all right? Venus retrograde in a stationary position, looking at that partner going, dude, we need to talk, all right? You need to hear this. You need to listen. You need to stop. You need to hear what I'm saying because otherwise, Sun, op sun opposition, sorry, Venus opposition, Saturn, this relationship is not going to work, all right? So, so when the moon moves into Libra, being ruled by a very dissatisfied Venus, <coughs> again, there could be things starting to happen. All right, that's not it. Then later on that night, we have Chiron going retrograde at 10.42, and all of those old hurts just get stronger. Okay, again, Chiron is also going to be station retrograde. Chiron in Aries, how, okay, moon in Libra, Chiron in Aries retrograde. How did I give away my independence to this dysfunctional partnership for so long? How can I, um, or why have I let myself go for the sake of that old ideal or, you know, because, because it's still... Um, it's still Libra, it's still Leo, it's still Aries, you know, there's a lot of dynamic stuff where we're like, I'm not happy and I have given away my life for thus far. So we're looking to become independent and shiny and sparkly again and the people around us must know how they stop our shine. Okay, so that is the second summary of the week ahead. So I will stop my share and stop 